hi guys welcome to this video so in this video let's see how to flip the part by using spinal bend tool and create a parametric let's start at first we need to select the working directory so i have already created a folder for that i'm selecting this folder then let's click on new part and the part name i'm going to use this as so uh, Final bend. And I'm going to unclick this uh, default template. And here I am going to select the default template to uh, template for MMN Spot Solid ABS. I will use this template for all of my videos. Click on OK. So here at first I'm going to select the top plane to start my sketch. Go for the sketch view. Here I am going to draw a center rectangle. Um, yeah, here and then I'm going to equal all those sides. Let's adjust this length as 100 and this length as 10. And then I'm going to extrude this part. Flip the direction and I'm going to adjust this extrude length to a value of 30. Click on OK. And I recommend you guys to view this model by this uh, shading with edges so that it is very easy for us to understand the drawing. And then I'm going to continue with sketch again to create the same part to this opposite direction. So I'm going to select the top plane again, go for sketch and go for the sketch view. So on the top face, I'm going to draw a center rectangle again with the same dimension of 100 and the length distance of 10 and click on OK. We can use also like mirror tool for this uh, sketch. But I have to extrude this part to a value of 20, so I am using this uh, sketch, uh, sketch tool again. So go for extrude, select this sketch, and I am going to flip the direction. And here I am going to use this extrude length as 20. Click on OK. So here I am going to add some round surface for the corners. So go for round and select all these sharp edges. Hold down the control key and select all the edges that you want to make it round. And I'm going to adjust this round value to a value of 15. Then let's click OK. And also I'm going to make these edges for a round tool. So go for round tool again. Select this bottom edge, control key, and select this edge. And I am going to enter the value of 10 here. Click on OK. So now, as you can see, the part is fully covered. So it's a kind of uh, solid part. So I'm going to make this as a surface part by making it shell. Select this surface. And I'm going to same, do the same for here also. A control key, plus select this surface. And let's add the thickness. So I'm going to use thickness value as on here. And then click on OK. So our part has been converted from solid part to the surface part by using this shell tool. And here I'm going to add some extrude tool here. So I'm going to use go for sketch, select this surface. This is the top surface of the part, right? So go for the sketch and go for the sketch view. So here I am going to create a rectangle bar here. So we need some reference line for this. So go for reference and click this line as a reference line because here the slight line is ending. Click this, click this. As you can take many kind of reference, so don't worry about that. Here I am going to add some center rectangle from this. 
by touching all those reference points here click on ok go for extrude here i'm going to make this extrude part towards downwards so flip the direction and you can adjust this length by dragging this point so here i am going to add this extrude length to a value of 4 and click on ok so so here we have to bend this part right so if this part has a straight line we can't able to bend it so let's edit this part go for sketch go for sketch view okay. we can add reference for these two lines so here i am going to make some line like this this and this Let's draw a center line to measure this part to the opposite plane. Select all these three lines. Go for mirror. Select this center line. Then press escape key. So here I am going to edit this dimension length and this length and this distance. Here I am going to take a value of 15. Here the value of 13 and this length as 0 0.5. So as you can see, our dimensions are entered correctly, but this part to be placed on the top plane. So we'll go for the dimensions, select these two lines and enter a value of 0. So then I'm going to create, create a curved line here. For that, I'm going to use this dimension as a base dimension. Oh, I'm going to create a point here. The point here. Let's make this dimension as 15. Let's check whether this point have entered at the center. Like you can see, it is not entered. By like 7.50 at the center point for these two points. And then I'm going to create an arc. Point tangent and arc from here to here. Kindly check whether this point is made on this center line. Okay, select this, like this. Like you can see, this point is placed on this axis itself. So, this value is 15. Yeah, now I am going to close this sketch. Like before that, we need to adjust this distance. Go for dimension, select this and select this. I'm going to add a value of 1 here. So now we can close this part. Press escape key. As you can see the pink color here, or it has been completed successfully. So let's click OK. Go for extrude. So here I am going to use extrude cut option. So go for remove material and flip the direction. Let's click like uh, up to the next surface, or you can use through all. Then click OK. So our part has been made here. So for closing this box, we need to create some sweep tool here. So go for sweep. Select this. So for this, we are going to use some closed loop tool. So click on the shift key. Select this, select this, select this, all the edges around this uh, face. As you can see, there is no chain added in this part. Like there is only one origin point, as you can see in this reference. Like I'll show the other cases. We go for a sweep tool, and if you are going to select this part, and you are going to select the multiple part by using a control, by holding on the control key. As you can see me, see, your part is made by chain. Like each and every part that you have selected has becoming chain 1, chain 2, chain 3, and chain 4, like that. As you can go and see on the reference line, you can see chain 1, chain 2, chain 2. So if you are going to become, like if you are going to create this as a chain 1, chain 2, chain 3, you can't be able to sketch that part. 
so i recommend you guys to use the shift tool for this go for the sweep and select this line and hold on the shift key and select as you can see it has been created as a closed loop now we can go for the sketch I'll go for the sketch tool so for this i'm going to use uh, extrude cut option for this so we have to draw like in this part inside this part go for a corner rectangle um, i'm going to add this dimension as 3.5 click on ok so now i'm going to use extrude cut tool for this i'm going to use remove material option as you can see our part is created let's click on ok and then let's hide all this and then i'm going to create the same sweep tool for this face also but here we need to use extrude option but here we have use on like remove material option for this so go for the sweep and select this hold on con shift key okay go for the sketch and go for the sketch view So here I am going to use a rectangle tool on the outside surface. I'm going to add the same dimension of 3.5 here. Click on OK. Now our part is created. Click on OK. So now our entire part has been created. So now we have to use the spider element tool option here. So before that, we need to create some perimeter path here. And for that, so let's turn on all this. Like, let's turn on the plane display. I'm going to sketch on this plane to create a sketch area. For that, go for sketch, select this plane, go for sketch view. Here I am going to add this line for a reference line for me. And here I am going to draw a center circle. Here. I am going to add this diameter value as 2 here. This length as a value of 2 here. This length will be changed automatically after we fix it the perimeter area. And I am going to draw a line for a path like to this end and another line at the top now we can delete the unwanted um, segments like this, this so our sketch has been completed here so now let's turn off all these plane displays now we have to create some like a perimeter area for this so go for this perimeter option select this bottom line control key select this curve select this line and press ok so now we have taken the perimeter option here now we have to select a variable value for this so i'm going to select this value as a variable value so by changing this perimeter value we need to select a variable value if we um if we give a dimension or if we give a value for this particular line the some value should be changed right so we have to select this as a variable value now you can see it has been changed as a variable value and this value as a perimeter value so now let's give this dimension we have to give this dimension as the entire length of this particular product so we are given 100 here 10 here again 10 here again 100 here so the value will be 220 so according to this perimeter value this variable value will get changed right we have provided this variable value as 2 but it has been changed to 1.5 so automatically so sketch has been completed let's click ok Let's go for the final tool of final bend. So here 
it is telling us to select the bend geometry part so click here and we have to select the all entire part for bending click entire part and go for the reference here it is asking to select the spine the spine is nothing but we have created this sketch right so that sketch is called spine click here select this sketch now you can see our part is closed here we have to select the lock length option so that it can be changed so here you can see these three options the first option is like as you can see the arrow mark is on the down line when you click this the product is opened so when the line is towards upwards the product will get opened and it is downwards it will get closed on the other option like we can have some drag tool here if we drag this to this length it will be closed and it will be opened if you drag it closely like we can change this or else you can use some dimensions also here 110 or 120 100 like based on the value it will be get changed as you can see here click on ok and final thing like uh, you can hide this sketch ok so this is how you can create or you can flip the part by using a spinal bend tool so let's give some appearances for our part like, um, we can use some metal color for this silver for the entire part go for shading with reflections you can also edit this uh, spinal bend option here go for edit and you can drag it you can click ok so thanks for watching guys so we'll see in next videos. Thank you.